Hello, how's it going? It's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today I am bringing you a thread up unboxing. Yes, I have another thread up box for you guys. It is a 30 piece um, thread up box and I think it was about $35, so I think 40 maybe shipped. It's gonna fall on me here. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna unbox this for you guys today, see what we got. I've had really pretty good luck with my thread up boxes. The last one I got, there were a couple pieces that I really liked and a couple that were like, meh, it's okay. Um, but I'm excited to try out another one. They're so much fun. And yeah, I hope you go, I'm gonna just say right up front, I don't have my bright lights on right now because I've been like fighting this major migraine for the last couple days. So yeah, I just couldn't have a light in my face, but I wanted to come on. I was trying to watch the Super Bowl, and finally I just was like, no, I really don't want to watch the Super Bowl. I want to come up here and open a box for you guys <clears throat> and for me. Um, so hello, and I am live. Hi, Jennifer and Picking Treasures. Hi, Penny. Hello, Lucy and Whitley. Nice to see you guys. And I sat down and I didn't grab scissors, so I'm going to have to like gnaw this box open. Arr. So, oh no. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I hope everything's been going well with you guys. I don't know where this crazy migraine has come from, but it happens every now and then. Do you guys get migraines? Because they are a son of a gun. I tell you what, I'm really going to have to gnaw this thing open. Um, anyway, yeah, I, migraines suck, and so does trying to open this box without scissors. Here, let's see if I can get this pen. Look, now I'm going to watch. Oh, no, I did it. Yay, okay. <laughs> do what you got to do, right? You love mysteries, right? They're so much fun. Um, What else was I going to say? Yeah, my sister was here. We did not get a chance to do a video together. She wasn't here for very long, so I think, you know, it just kind of, she went back today, which was, meh. I miss her, but we're going to try to get together again next weekend. Yeah. Um. Oh no, that's too bad. Um, still listing your thread up box. Yeah, I, I I have been working on listing. Oh, I think I grabbed the wrong box. I did. I grabbed the wrong box. Let me go grab the wrong, the right one. This I ordered a couple different boxes. Um, and this is like the the fun box with the different mix of stuff. But since I already titled this the jewelry one, let me go grab the other one. Now I have to get up anyway. I should have just grabbed my scissors. Hang on, my dress likes to slip down. All right, I'm gonna go grab the correct box. Sorry. <laughs> migraine, we'll blame the migraine. Hey, turtle trader. Grabbing the correct box now. And scissors. Okay. I guess I'll do the other box maybe tomorrow. And then it'll just like, we'll just change my channel into the thread up channel, but, but they're so fun, right? Okay. Hang on. I got to pull my legs back up and try not to knock the computer over. Okay. Oh, that was Penny's. Oh, wait, no. Kathy says, I used to get migraines and my wisdom teeth were impacted. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, let's be safe with scissors. How warm was it here today? It was, it was, it was fair. I mean, look at what I'm wearing today. Uh, <laughs> I wore this little black dress today. Um, I don't know, probably in the 70s, I'm guessing. It's going to be warm until, I think, Wednesday. So, and I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Now, let's see. So I'll save that box for tomorrow because it was like a mystery. One of the, the fun boxes. I've gotten one of those before where it was like, a purse and that funky furry hat that I got and a scarf and gloves and some some other stuff anyway let's make sure I got the right box this time yes okay oh now we're doing this oh you've done the denim one that's cool the thing is I don't sell clothes really usually I say that until I find something cool just like I bought a, a board game at savers yesterday because I don't normally sell board games anymore but it was like a if you follow me on Instagram, I shared a picture of it. It was Legends of Zelda board game. So I'm going to try to sell that. Okay. And then look what else I got, but I'm keeping it. I got this at Savers for eight bucks and it's an Ammonite ring, but I'm keeping it because I love fossils. Okay. 
So let's do this. This is the 30 pieces. So here's my little receipt from the Red Up. And it's, uh, it was $34 for the 30 pieces. And then it's about five bucks shipping. So about $40. So still a really good deal, you know. And my last one, I got this really nice Heidi Klaus. Heidi Klaus? I think that's what it was called. Earrings. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Yes, yes. Things have been really good this weekend. Uh, my sister was here. I didn't see her most of the day yesterday because she was at a bee convention. That's why she came into town. But I still got to spend lots of times, lots of times with her. Look at me. My brain. If you're just coming in, I've been fighting this migraine. And I get them. And here's the thing. I know we haven't even started opening jewelry yet, but if you guys know what this is, uh, my grandmother had trigeminal neuralgia, and I'm so paranoid because I get the, when I get the migraines, it's like the nerves in my head and my face start hurting, and I'm like, oh gosh. I mean, my grandmother really had a hard time with that trigeminal neuralgia. She ended up having surgery for it at one point, so really bad, really bad. So it scares me. Okay, so this is the first box. Now we're gonna we're gonna get into it. So good. You expect long tangent intros. Good, good. We just have to set the stage for no low lighting, headaches, whatnot. It just is. It just is. Okay, so first piece. Meh. Okay, first piece we've got uh faith, not the not the message, but the jewelry. Okay, faith in God. Um, yeah, okay. So it's a little butterfly. It says faith. I mean it's cute. It's cute. Okay, we'll just put that there. Okay, then, oh, now this is cute. Okay, this is a nice clamper bracelet with sea stars. And again, I don't have my bright lights on, but it's kind of like a turquoisey sea foam uh, green, kind of a mix, more turquoisey colored um, with these really cute sea stars. This is pretty. I know. Well, Marcy, it's either it's, it actually does feel better. Um, I've been, I've been. Uh, this is something else that is off topic slightly, but um, I've been doing keto, right? So for a little over a month now, I started it or at the on the first of January, and um, I kind of fell off the wagon when my sister was here because we drank a couple of martinis when we were out, and then I think. It's either that or getting back and not eating enough. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so super pretty bracelet. I, I, yeah, and I don't get migraines all the time, but this one, there's no maker's mark on it, but it seems to be in really good shape. Super pretty. Yeah, I've, I'm doing really well with the keto, Jan. Uh, it's So I've, I've lost almost 10 pounds, so that's good. And uh, And I've been eating way better, so that's what I needed to do because... Me and Chick-fil-A have a love-love relationship. I'm just going to put it that way. I love the Chick-fil-A, and I love the Chick-fil-A, right? Okay, so next up um, um, is this. I'm trying to get the front ways, but every time I turn it, it's like turning away from you. So here we go. Hi, everybody. Yes. Okay. There are is this one. So it's kind of like this gold link necklace i'm trying to see there might be some missing no i don't see any missing stones um i mean it's very business lady-ish Woo, it's really hang on let's try this puppy on if i can get it undone it's really knotted up in there okay maybe that's why they sold it we couldn't get it off we could not there we go oh you're on thread up shopping oh and if you are if you guys want i have a you, t you get 10, I get 10 coupon code down below. And some people have said it works with the rescue boxes, and some people said it hasn't. So that's weird. But uh, this thing is really, I'm trying to put it on, but look what it keeps doing. It keeps like twisting around. This is probably why nobody wants you. You can't make up your mind. Oh, this thing is annoying me. Just trying to get it straight. Look, I can't. Oh my gosh, you're too complicated. I have to twist you. Okay, now you're twisted. Hold, hold, no, nope, hold, hold. I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. Okay, how's that? Okay, no, now twist it up again. Okay, there. 
Mm -mm. Okay, so this is not me. This is totally not me. Just like, look at that. Soulmate worked with rescue boxes. Oh, cool. The 10 did not work for you. Okay, but soulmate is the 20% off code for today. And if you do sign up, I get these emails every now and then that they're like, oh, free shipping, you know, if you put this coupon code in and I can't remember. Okay, so look at that. Just pretend like I don't have my necklace on. This is awfully large for me, I think. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so there's that. All right, and then we've got some tangles, my favorite. They make my eyes go crazy. I like that. Ah, uh, there's this one necklace. Is this one? What are you doing? Oh, it's one. It's still tangled, but it's one. Okay, so giant necklace, you annoy me, so you get to go sit in the naughty box. So this is a double strand necklace, and on the first shorter strand, it's just like this black. Um, I don't know. It's just like that. Kind of blah. And then the longer one has this sparkly thing. I mean, I guess it's all right. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's okay. What is the brand? It says Loft Outlet on the brand. <laughs> so, um... This kind of, I don't know, tomorrow we're doing one, we're doing an, an art in the park thing and we're going to be making galaxy bottles like, like with oil and water and glitter and stuff. So this kind of matches tomorrow's theme with the galaxy stuff. Maybe I'll wear it if I can ever get it untangled tomorrow. Try, what is that? I don't even know what that is. I've been drinking pickle juice. <laughs> for my migraines and eating fajitas <laughs> that actually worked eating fajitas worked okay so that's my new migraine strategy send the kids outside and send randy to get fajitas <laughs> there okay so there's a super long one and a super short one i don't know i feel weird about that it feels like there should be something in the middle there's like one you know, it's not balanced in my mind. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we get this thing off? Drink Mountain Dew. Okay, okay. You're at, oh, okay. Sorry, I keep talking to people in the chat. Sorry, not sorry. I get comments about that all the time. I just delete them. People are like, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I can't stand it when people are talking to people in the chat. I had one of those the other day. I'm like, I'm surprised you would take the time to write such a long message to tell me how much you hate it. Whatever. Bye. See you later. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Pamela. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got next. If you're just coming in, we're, we're with low lighting because of migraines. Yours and mine. Okay, so there's four pieces. The next one is cute, and it looks like another Alex and Annie, maybe. Only not. Only maybe. Yeah, it's an Alex and Annie. Okay. So we've got Achilles, which is like maybe for a runner, you know? So, and then we've got all the little Alex and Annie charms. This is actually really a cute one. I like that one with the runner shoe on it. That's cute. Okay, so that'll be a good one. Somebody will want that. Yeah, Mountain Dew is keen. Good shot of, I drink a lot of coffee. So I did have a lot of coffee today. And more, more water, more, more water. Okay, the next up, I'm trying to tear that box. All right, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and sorry, if I, I, sometimes I look back at the chats after the fact and I miss people. And I feel so bad that I'm like, oh, I didn't get to say hi to so-and-so. Um, so apologies if I miss you in the chat. Okay, so next up is this bracelet. And because the lights are not on, it doesn't, the colors don't look consistent across them. You can probably catch that. I don't know. It's okay. Oh, you didn't get the notice, darn it. So this is another like clamper style one. I'm trying to see if that's a magnet in there. That would be awesome if it is. It is. So that's got a magnet in there. I like that. 
because whenever I'm <laughs> looking for stuff, when I go through things and I have a magnet on me, but I don't know. Meh. What do you think? And again, apologies. There's no bright light to show you better the colors because I just can't have it in my face right now. So I can't do it. Hang on. Let me look back in the chat because I'm just sure that I'm going to miss something. Um, this is a new, uh, oh, I ordered a few in, in December. Um, and then I just have a little stash of them <laughs> because I had a feeling they were going to sell out. This isn't the 10 pound box though. This is just the 30 pieces. And I do have another coach one because I ordered two before they sold out. <laughs> All right. So the next one, how do you find out if Alex and Annie is authentic? Do people fake them? They're, I just feel like they're everywhere. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Penny. <laughs> um, there's some new meds for migraines. Oh, okay, thank you. Very specific part of the ear. Huh, okay, neat. Okay, the piercing part. Do I record this? I'm on my laptop, yeah. Hello, Melissa. Okay. <laughs> All right, so next is a polka dot bracelet. This is really cute. I like the polka dots. That one actually is one I might keep. And this one is a J. Crew. J. Crew tends to put out really cute bangles. I have a few J. Crew bangles. I think I actually have like a navy blue one just like this that would kind of match it, that could go with it. Because the polka dots, I, I think, are blue, like a dark blue. So that's really cute. Um, my laptop is a Mac, Pro MacBook Pro, I think. Okay, and then here is another bangle. I like bangles a lot, so I have too many bangles. I have to weed them out. And I stopped wearing them in videos because they cling, clang, clang a lot. So there's that one. There's no maker's mark on it. I mean, if I was out and about, I probably wouldn't pick this one up, but it's okay. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, this is kind of cute, though. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is a Brighton. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so here we've got this Brighton one. It says Joy to the World on one side. And then on the other side, it's got this star, like the star of wonder, star of light. I can't think of what it's called except for the star in the sky. You know, whatever. It's the star. And then it says Brighton. It's got the little bee. <laughs> this is cute. And then it hooks like so. It's got this kind of hook on it. But then these charms are like on there, so they're not falling off. The North, yeah, the North Star. I know that, but there's like another, the, another name for the, the star that all the wise men followed, right? <laughs> I can't think of it. Okay, but yeah, that's really cute. I like that one a lot. Star of Bethlehem. There we go. <laughs> all right, so that's cute. So all right, that's pretty nice. Then we've got some little stud earrings, so meh, meh. They're not amazing, but that's fine. That's fine. And then these, I love mixed metal stuff, so that's cool. There are these hammered silver and gold tone mixed metal earrings. Where did my magnet go? I did have a magnet here. There it is. There it is. Do you... I have been lotting some stuff up to sell some bangles and things, so those are magnetic. Um, that was my project yesterday since I could barely, like, do this with my eyes. I sat on the floor in here and sorted bangles and bracelets. Next up, cheapy tin earrings. Cling, 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 like that. Um, meh. I mean, the colors are okay, but... I guess somebody would like them. Maybe I'm just in a funky mood. What do you think? Am I missing Fantastic Beasts? I have it. I love Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I'm finding them in my thread up box. No. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Crimes of Grindelwald was so good too. Did you see that? Mm. All right. Then next up, some more just little dangle earrings. These are little glass drops. I like the wire wrapping at the top. Those are kind of cool though. 
but again, just kind of like meh, meh. And then we've got a choker. Oh, yeah. And it's got this sort of flower, and they're fall colors. Who's yelling downstairs? Why are they yelling? Um, they, and it's not the Super Bowl. They're yelling at each other. Okay, here we go. So it looks like that. Can you hear them? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I have the chat open up on another screen. This is actually kind of cute, but it's not me. Maybe it is me. Thank goodness I shaved my armpits today. <laughs> so there's that. That's. I don't know. It's a nice little leather strap on it. I think it would drive me nuts after like ten minutes. Uh oh. What happened? Are we fighting? Are we infighting? Fight! 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 Did you ever do that with your kids? I did that with them the other day when they started arguing and it totally threw them off. Like instead of like intervening and be like, kids, what's going on? Why are you fighting again? I was just, when they started bickering and stuff, I just started going, fight, 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 fight. <laughs> and they both stopped and went, <laughs> they stopped. <laughs> I should try that more often. <laughs> Um, okay, so next up are these. They look silver, so that's promising. And they've got this. You threw yourself on the floor, on the fluid transfer. Um, they appear to be silver. Again, I don't have my bright lights on, so let me grab my magnet. Yeah, kids expect us to act a certain way, totally. Okay, so they're not attracted to the magnet. Let me grab my loopy loop and see if I see any marks or anything. Hang on. I'm going to look with the naked eye at the earrings to see if I see any marks. Reverse psychology. So, and my kids don't fight that much, but when they do, good golly, help me, Lord. You know, they really go at it. When they go at it, they're just like... So, and then they fight over the weirdest things. Uh, I don't see it. Wait, I see it. See you. Like hiding in there. It does say something. I may have to come back and look at them later. But I don't want to. I want to find out now. No, that says 925 on that side. Okay. I thought it said something else. Okay, well, it says 925. So they're probably, you know, little crystal ones. You can see lots of pretty colors in there, though. I saw some, see, see colors, see pretty colors, reverse psychology didn't work all the time, cool, okay, so these are cute little silver, probably Swarovski or something, I'll have to look at them closer later, those are pretty, um, had to find it, <laughs> yes, oh, the song, okay, so this is a paparazzi necklace, and at first I was going to say, you know, for paparazzi, I guess it's okay. But I hate fishing line stuff. It drives me bananas. So, I mean, I guess it's not horrible. Somebody would like it. But that would drive me crazy. Crazy. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Eh, okay. It just gets so bent out of shape and then like really disfigured easily, the fishing line stuff. Okay, so, so far, so far we're doing okay as far as, as I mean, it's 34 bucks, right? So I get this really cute, that one is really cute. We're not done yet though. And then the Brighton one is cute. I like the Brighton one. Wait, that's not the Brighton, that's the Alex and Annie. And then where'd the Brighton one go? So, okay, we're doing okay. Where did you go? There you are. Right. But that one. Okay. Now let's dig into another one. Eight children, yeah. Okie dokie. Is that it? Or is that another box? Oh no, there's another box. Okay, good. Alright, we've got two more. Are we ready? We are ready. So, ooh, oh, <laughs> Uh, 
So we have a keeper. The reason we have a keeper is this is ivory. This is an ivory bracelet. And the reason I know immediately that it's ivory is if you look right in here, you can see the Schreger lines right on the inside of that. Um, and you can't sell it. I know the laws are different in different places, but here you cannot. And he has been totally, I mean, straight up carved, carved out. Like this does not come out of his mouth. It's been carved in there. So this is certainly very old, um, as you can see. So yeah, they couldn't sell this. So if you look at ivory, you'll see, like depending on the direction that you look at it, like you'll see lines that you can see these lines kind of almost going parallel and then you look at it from a, the side angle from that and you should see this x's you see that cross hatch pattern that looks like almost x like that um so because from one angle it looks like that and then from the other angle it'll look like lines like that um so i have a little box that i've been Anytime I find ivory or I get it in a jewelry jar or something like that, I've been putting it in there. So this is, it's a really interesting piece though. Look, it's like a dragon. So, yeah. All right, let me look in there. The box was like $34 with like $6 shipping. So basically 40 bucks. So yeah, all right. So ivory, okay. I mean, it's neat. It's neat. You know. But yeah. So there's that. Hmm. That's different. That's really different. So what do you guys do when you find ivory? You know what I mean? Because you can't really... Um, Vicky, send me an email, okay? I, yeah, just send me an email and I can figure it out. Okay. Yeah, and the thing, Lucy, is that sometimes they don't, some people don't know, right? If they just have somebody working in their, you know, distribution center or whatever, like they may not know that it's ivory. They may just think, I don't know. Yeah, but that's a big piece of ivory. Totally. So, yeah. Yeah, if you can prove that it's before a certain time. I mean, I, I think this one probably is pretty old. But there's no, I can't, I have no proof for it. And I think the laws are different, like, in Canada and, and in, um, you know, for Native tribes and things like that. My grandmother had some that she got a long time ago. And so it's like, a, it's just something that we inherited. So it's like, well... We have it just like I have a tortoise shell bracelet that she got from, you know, is antique. So it's like, what do you, you know, it just is, we have, have it, you know? And so in a way it's like, well, I have it for reference. So if I ever find some more or it comes in a jar or a box like this, you know, I can compare and do all that. Yeah. So I have a little box. My, my aunt actually gave me this cute little green box for Christmas and I decided I was going to use it to keep, any kind of ivory pieces I find in. So it'll go in the green box over there. So there's that. And then it's like, maybe it's, I don't think it's cheesy, but it's almost like my way of like stopping the line and like showing respect to the animal, you know, all that good stuff, all that. Um, let's see. Huh. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So next up, we got some rings. There, um, yeah, I think there are some laws about coral, especially now that the, but I'll have to double check on the coral stuff. Yeah, yeah. Is it a, well, I could wear it. Um, I mean, I could. <laughs> I don't know. I have a bangle that I bought. I bought a, um, I was at, savers and there were two bangles 
like tied together for 99 cents and one of them was plastic and one of them was ivory and I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get this and take it home and stick it in the box that I have at home just to because I saw it and I don't know I felt weird leaving it there okay next what are these three rings and they're just kind of like cheapy little cheapy little rings um so there's that and then yeah yeah and you know if you if somebody from PETA sees you wearing it beware so yeah <laughs> all right then there's this really cute snake ring no no you can't sell ivory um well there are exceptions but for the most part no yeah no so that's a kind of a cute little snake ring it's a, an adjustable ring but i don't think it'll matter to somebody who likes snakes are you a slytherin <laughs> that was the cool thing in crimes of grindelwald that nagini if you know if you know who nagini is in harry potter you find out a little bit more of Nagini's backstory. So that was really cool. Wish rings. Hmm. Yeah. What do I do with the cheapy cheeps? They'll probably go into a lot. They'll probably, yeah. Uh, and here's another one, just kind of like that. Just kind of like meh. Yeah. And then this one, it's just a silver band, but it's got like a size, size 20 on it. Now let's see. Snake. I know. <laughs> I'm looking to see if this one's got any kind of markings or if it's so there's no markings in there so and it's well yeah it's magnetic <laughs> so meh. let's see i'm looking in the chat yeah and yeah this is a really neat piece though honestly it's just like so somebody took the time to really carve that out i don't know still okay so then this is really pretty too there it's closes up like this and lots of seed beads savers yeah savers is a thrift store here in austin we didn't have them in houston either um let's see how tight this one goes yeah and it's pretty i mean the, there's one near me not too far from me that is that i've been going to i actually ran into is yellow rose reseller in the chat i ran into her there one day yeah Ah, there. This is kind of tight on the old, the old neck bones. Wow. I don't know about this. I guess it would keep my neck warm. Yeah, your safer's closed. But yeah, we had Value Village in Houston. The quality at our Value Villages in Houston were not as good, though, as like the savers up here. Maybe it just depends on the area. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And then there's these ones with some mother of pearl and green beads. Hello, hello. And another ring. This one's okay. Like that. So yeah, some of these will probably go into a lot. I've, I've got some, like I, said, I was saying earlier, yesterday I was lotting stuff up. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Hmm. So I'm working on some lots to get listed. Oh, hello, lovely Laura. Thank you. All right, then next. Oh, no. These are really cute. I like these a lot. So that's the top part up there. And then it hangs. It's got these that hang with these different color, like pearls. That's really pretty. And this... Hang on, I'm looking at it closer. So sometimes I find like pieces that have this, I don't know exactly what you call this, like kind of teardrop shape with the ribbing. Um, I've, I've found some of those that have that are gold, you know, because it's kind of a vintage thing. These are not, but well, the top part is, the bottom part is magnetic, but the top part is not magnetic. So I'm looking at it. I'm gonna look, there's like a little, looks like a little scratchy. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. 
No, okay. Anyway, yeah. These are really pretty. So these ones are, I might, these might be, I have got to go find who, who said catch and release to me because I'm going to keep stealing that and not giving people credit. But if it was you, tell me because <laughs> I forget who said it. You know, when I'm like, oh, I just want to keep it for a while. And then when I'm done with it, I will sell it. And someone said, oh, it's like catch and release. I'm like, these might be some catch and release for me. Just look how pretty they are. I think they're so feminine and unique, right? Um, yeah, I've so I have them on Etsy and then I have them on um, eBay. So I have a few now. I need to go through and either get new pictures or or just like fix fix them out because I haven't there's some that haven't sold. Um, maybe I just need to drop the price. <laughs> I don't know. Non-magnetic also means higher quality. Yeah, usually it just means that there's not um I, I do the magnet to see, like, is there a chance that it might be silver or gold or something that's not magnetic? So, yeah. But um, this, this part is not magnetic. And if you know what I'm talking about, like, with a lot, with not a lot, but with some vintage finer jewelry, they sometimes will have this, this type of shape. I'll need to pull out some, some of my stuff so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to look at these a little closer. I think I'm going to hang on to these because these are really pretty potato pearls. They've got some fresh water. I don't know. They're just pretty, pretty kind of Baroque. Some of them. All right. Yeah. You get to stay over there. Yay. I always like to find something I can keep. All right. Then y'all I'm getting out of control with my own personal jewelry. I have a lot. And then Randy just bought me a, James Avery bracelet the other day. I need to show you that one too. He bought me a, it's got like a little owl and it's a bangle that has a little closure. So cute. All right. So anyway, and this is in here. This is a Pandora style bracelet, but it's not Pandora. I don't think. Hold still you. So that says love, hope. There's a shooting star. Cute. Um, <clears throat> Oh no. Yikes. Um, so there's that. I mean, it almost has that brightened look with this heart, but I don't see any kind of brightened tag on it. So I couldn't really for sure say it was brightened, but I can see someone really liking that one. And then there is a, this snake chain bracelet. It's pretty shiny. I know, right? Penny saying, not sure if you see Florida news, but Sebring is where the Goodwill is that I shop. And there was a mass shooting there last week at a bank. Yikes. No, I did not see that. I'm trying to see if this is. So this one is not a trap. Oh, is that, or is it just pulling a little bit? No. Okay. So I can take a look at this to see if I think I see a, I don't see a silver mark on it, but that doesn't. It could be stainless steel. It doesn't necessarily mean it's silver. So I get that question a lot. Um, oh, yikes. That's scary. You never know. You just have to keep your eyes open, right? Be safe. Okay, here we go. Next box. We have got a cross bracelet. Looks like so. And then it's got this. It opens like that. There's that. Hmm. It'll probably go into a lot, I think. And then we've got, are you one bracelet or are you two? Oh, you're two bracelets. Okay. This big one with this black flower. It's a clamper. Clamper style. My wife has bright and luggage. Oh, cool. I bet it's really pretty. And then there's this one. So like that. Ta -da. Ta -da. All right, so that is everything. So I definitely found some keepers. I found a couple things that I'll sell, and then I found a couple things that'll go into lots. So these ones are going to be keepers. Those are going to be keepers. So this one I'll sell. I'm not sure how much for 
And then the Brighton one for sure, I'll sell by itself. The This one I'll sell by itself with the starfish. That's super pretty. Um, this one I will most likely sell by itself as well, the seed bead one. And I'm trying to see like which other ones. Some of the other stuff will probably slot up. This one I might sell by itself as well. That's kind of cute. You can, oh, you can separate the charms. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll take care of this migraine. It's actually getting better. The snake, I might sell by itself too because it's fun. A fun little snake bracelet. Oh, kids. Okay, get off me. Get off me. And then the ivory bracelet will go into my ivory, my box over there that I keep all, I've started keeping all my ivory stuff in. Um, this box was the 30 pieces for $34. Um, yeah, for sure. And so I have a fun box that I almost opened here just a second ago by accident. So maybe I'll come back on tomorrow and do the fun box since I teased it out apparently by accident. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah. It's been crazy. And then we go to Houston, so I'll, then I'll be in Houston. I have ju some jewelry jars too, and there's just not enough hours in the day. Let's just put it that way, okay? For from for me to be a homeschool mom and try to run a business and have fun unboxing fun things, um, <coughs> it's just there's not enough hours in the day for sure. Okay, let me know if the Patriots won because I, I don't want to go back downstairs where they're watching the Super Bowl. Um, and yeah, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you do, like, if you find ivory, tell me if you're watching this later, like, what do you do when you find ivory? Do you have a special place you keep it? What do you do with it? You know what I mean? So I, yeah, you know, I have that special place where I keep it. And that's where this is going to go. So would I put those on eBay? Which ones? The lots, you mean? I'll probably put the lots on eBay. I have, like, over here, I've been bagging bags of stuff up to lot up to do. Yes, please hit the thumbs up on the way out. Thanks, guys. And, um, and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Have a really good evening. Bye, everybody.